UFC Inca is trailing 0-1 to Vile State. This guy has not dropped a single game. Can Inca be the first to do it? Stay tuned as we go to Metalopolis. We are in the loading screen of MLG Metalopolis. Inca chose this map. See their spawn positions. Should be interesting. Okay, so here we go, Jeff. In the bottom side of the map, we have the player who has fought through the lower bracket, through so many incredible players. So many Zerg, so many Terrans, finally meeting a Protoss in the final. Give it up for the Blue, Blue Protoss player, Inca! And at the north position, we have the player who has not yet lost a game, coming all the way from California, representing Team Vile. Give it up for State. And this tournament has had its, its fair share of tough players. I mean, one of the, the, the easy things for people to armchair quarterback and say is, oh, it's not that big of a tournament, didn't have that many good players. No. This was a tough field of players. We've seen some huge upsets. Trimaster going down fairly early. Inca being knocked down by a guy by the name of Heaven on Earth. I mean, um, this tournament has revealed that there is a lot of talent out in that North America scene, but specifically Texas. And I think it would be a huge accomplishment if Vile State could conquer this field of players without dropping a single game. And it could very likely happen again. State one game away from obtaining that big fat check that you said you saw. Yep. Um... I hope that was the right check. They could have been for something else. It's like Smash Brothers or something like that. And <laughs> we give the guy a sock. Like, congratulations, you won. Yeah, yeah by the way, sock. those on stream may not know about that, but there's a lot more festivities than just a StarCraft II tournament going on here today. I think they're all shut down now because everyone is watching the grand final, but once again, Tespa doing a great job providing entertainment. And State putting a pile on the low ground here, uh, just trying to scare his opponent, I think. Uh, yeah, okay, here's what this is. This is actually really smart. Um, basically, Inca's going to pull a lot of probes, or yeah. if he thinks it's an actual cannon rush, he'll pull a lot of probes. But State actually abandoned it before the pilot could finish because he didn't want to commit to that, that kind of tomfoolery just yet. Inca yeah. wasn't freaking out about it. He was just going to go forward with the Cybernetics Core as is. But I've definitely had that done to me, and I thought it was so cool because I held off this cannon rush, like, feeling all great. <laughs> and I get to his base, and I'm like, wait, you were never cannon rushing. Sneaky, uh, sneaky guy. Smart move, though. I like it. Really cool move. No reason not to do it. It's like uh, in PVZ, if, if they 15 hatch, putting down one lone pylon just to get them to pull yep. drones to try to delay that mining time. Very cool move. And looks like both these players playing pretty standard thus far. The one deviation, the one major deviation, I should say. State taking a second gas. Inca not taking a second gas just yet. And he's doing this two probes on each gas thing. I'm going to have to ask him about that because I really I don't know quite what it is. Um, Meanwhile, Inc. is just operating off the one gas, as you pointed out, which is pretty standard. Vile State seemingly doing the same build as last time. Now, I think one thing we did see that this uh, achieved was four or five stalkers at about the time a typical player has a zealot, a stalker, and a sentry. Yeah. And uh, that's a really strong pressure point. If you can actually get up that ramp, or if the guy with a sentry doesn't handle it correctly, you can win the game just right there. Yeah, I mean, it's oh. a cool way... Oh, what did I miss? Ooh. Ooh. Inca. It spans on this map, too. I don't know. Well, okay, actually, look at this. State is not doing the build I just described because he just churned out a sentry. So he could have got a lot of stalkers out and done some pressure, uh, but instead... Rogue coming back. Rogue going to the uh, natural expansion, and he can deny this from scouting. Did it see it? Oh, it no. did not! Oh, my... Oh, okay, I thought he saw it. Oh, 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 oh. oh Inca. Sending out another probe is State. He really wants to know what's going on. But Inca will see this probe at the watchtower and should go, yeah, that one. Should go deal with that. I, would imagine. I cannot believe how lucky he was to kill it exactly where it did. I, I think it's a millimeter away from seeing that Nexus, but yes. I don't want to be a bitter Bailey. Here we go. Uh, well, Hello? thank okay. you. <laughs> that would have been the most ridiculously like <laughs> All that awesomeness just to have it ruined there. Now, four gateways seem to be the order of the day for Inca. Meanwhile... State has had enough of scouting with just a probe. He's going to move out with three stalkers. Really smart move at this point in time because yes. uh, it's not like you're going to run into a surprise seven-century wall of units. You know, like you're not going to get frozen anywhere, so you should be able to run away. Now, will they get the valuable information? I think they will. Inca's not even in position to deny this. 
Yeah, Inca just now warping in three gateways. He will be able to warp in plenty of stalkers here, so State has to be careful. Did he see the expansion? Yes, oh, he absolutely. did. Yeah. So State knows exactly what's going on, and he has to be feeling a little bit awkward. Yeah, that's that's actually a really bad feeling. It's one thing to see a morphing nexus where you're like, okay, I can do something about that. But when you see a completed nexus, yeah, I don't know. Now, now State is throwing down two additional gateways, and there's something going to happen here. Maybe a pylon. Uh, maybe a pylon. Thank you. There you go. Um, now, what does he do? Four gateways and a robo. That's a lot of infrastructure. However, Inca is already up on four gateways himself, even throwing down a fifth and a sixth gateway. Inca is basically saying, I don't think you're going to oh go. Oh, my God. Here. These sentries. What are they doing? Oh. What are those sentries doing? I don't understand well, it. Well, look at those fortunes that got off. Good, but Inca's kind of stuck here with his units, but he's got more stuff. You're right. So, okay. <laughs> State's like, you're not going anywhere. And then Inca's like, wait a second, I'm the bigger dude here. Get out. Now, State has to scramble here to get some defenses out. Um, he's definitely in an awkward situation. Inca has four gateways worth of reinforcement potential. And this could be very scary indeed. This is, uh, it's like a four gate. I mean, hilarious, by the way. It's like, for those Protoss players that don't want to morph three inches to the left. <laughs> uh, and he's just going to bum rush the ramp. There are actually no sentries here. Yeah. So... I don't, I don't quite understand why this is working, but he did just run up the ramp of a Protoss player. Usually there's a sentry there, not this time. Probe's being pulled, and State, I don't know. He has an Immortal out trying to... Yeah, he's got an Immortal, he's got not much else. Yeah, oh, it's going to be very interesting indeed. Supply 49 to 43 in favor of Inca, and... Oh, it's hard to call right now. State he continues to pull the probes to try to deal with this. And, I don't know, more units being warped in by Inca here on the high ground. One sentry and two zealots going to try to target down those that Immortal with the zealots. I would imagine nice uh -oh. force field going down and trapping that Immortal. He's going to die very quickly, and it looks like Inca yeah. is going to... There it is. Okay. Inca not going to go down without a fight, Jeff. It can be done. Wow. It can be done. Vile State can lose games. If Kelby wins this game, he'll push it to the final best of three. Which might be too exciting. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if we can handle that kind of excitement. Me either, man. Um, but yeah, like, the sentries. He lost four sentries for free in any matchup. I don't care. Um, that's a big deal. And Inca showing perseverance. He's been down 1 0 plenty of times this tournament. I have to explain to State what happens when you lose a game at the tournament. Thank you for doing that. Yes. A humanitarian. <laughs> now he has to look at the I map. I actually don't know if that's the full process. They might have vetoed maps that they can't host. That's true. It is very true. You guys saw what I tried to say, though, right? That's yeah. all that matters. Oh, okay. Oh. I've got some words about that. Do you? Can't wait. In my opinion, if the if, if StarCraft and Protoss players specifically all lived and and went to the Tatooine Cantina, the guy that picks Taldrum Altar is like the dirty bounty hunter that nobody talks to. <laughs> okay? So no. Sound analysis. That's as, that's as clearly as I can put it for you. If it, if that doesn't make sense, I've got you've got three movies you need to go watch right now. You can wait till after the tournament, though, right? Or right now? I don't know. It actually might be higher up on that. Huh? 